the glorious Mancunian heat wave is over. It's currently lightly precipitating. Autumn is fast approaching, and that means the cup holders, Manchester United, are back in action in the Carabao Cup to take on the mighty Crystal Palace. Oman United is probably going to be a very, very very boring game as both teams feel undershirt teams. From what I've heard, small club palace are only bringing a small amount of fans, a couple of hundred or so, and hey look! But as you know, at Old Trafford, we don't rely on away fans for atmosphere, as the Shretford End is the absolute best in the world. Come on United! So how's things mother? We've not seen you for a long time over here. I know. What do you think of United's recent performances? Not too bad. Not too bad? They've been I know. So to say and just as a bonus, I thought I'd add a little new feature to these vlogs which might possibly be helpful for those come from outside of Manchester where every week I'll show you some of the best places to eat in and around Manchester if you're coming for a Manchester United match day. So where are we heading off to now? Apples. To get what? A delicious, spicy, huge, better than KFC, the best in Manchester, chicken burger. <laughs> Oh. How much was it? Is that cheaper than KFC? Yeah. Is it bigger than KFC? Yeah. But is it going to be more tasty than KFC? I don't know yet. Hey, that actually is class. Pretty nice crispy butter. They do make them fresh throughout the day and it's dipped in an amazing flavorful hot sauce. Temperature hot, that spicy hot. So it's temperature and spicy hot. And once you dip that crispy chicken burger into that sauce, you'll get a little nooks and crannies of crunchy pieces and then bits where it's nice and deliciously soaked in, of course, that amazing spicy sauce. And no, I'm not sponsored by these guys, but do check them out. That's it, cut. And just like that, night had fallen over Manchester. The away end, as predicted, was resembling a ghost town and if you're ever coming to a game in the Shretford end and specifically entrance W10, be sure to get here bright and early as without fail, this entrance is always absolutely jam-packed. And if you want to fit through the turnstiles, you may have to diet for a couple of weeks. This is how it must feel to be a City fan every week. The teams were now ready to go and the atmosphere, as always, was absolutely top-notch. The game was an absolute snooze fest, the play was slow and Palace had clearly given up before a ball was even kicked. We got some entertainment as Henderson was booed off, which turned to cheers as he clapped the fans. Which turned into even bigger cheers as Garnacho got himself onto the score sheet. Pelistri then won us a corner. Oh. And Casemiro was on hand to put us 2-0 up. Yeah! And as the second half started, future Ballon d'Or winner Tony Marshall put us 3 0 up. Go on, Tony! Marshall! Hey! 50 million down the drain! Tony Marshall scores again! Evans was given a great reception as he made his second home debut. Is there red? Is there red? Is there red? Johnny Evans! Before he almost lifted the roof of the Shretford end. Go on, Donny. Go on, Evans. Oh! God, Evans is a red. He eats curses. Poured senseless, fans were pleading for shots from anywhere and everywhere. Shoot! 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 Hoyland, however, added some excitement and energy. Go on! which led to the following sequence. Go on, shoot! Oh! Oh, go on! Shoot! Oh! Garnacho was bright on the left. Go on. And 
now, just bask in the beautiful, glorious rendition of Johnny Evans is a red. Come on, United. He's a red. He eats gulses. Evans is a red. He's a red. He's a red. Johnny Evans is a red. He eats gulses. Johnny Evans is a red. Is a red. Is a red. Johnny Evans is a red. He eats gulses. Johnny Evans is a red. Is a red. Is a red. Johnny Evans is a red. He eats gulses.